Opposition leader Sukse Masra returned to Chad on November 3rd after being in exile along with other opposition leaders. He addressed a crowd of supporters in Jamna and called for the reconciliation, emphasizing the importance of justice and equality in the country. Despite the violent repression of protests last year, Masra urged the crowds not to seek revenge and instead focus on dialogue and peaceful transition towards democracy. Masra's return has been met with mixed reactions from the opposition. While some view it as a positive step towards inclusive elections in 2024, others criticize him for allegedly making deals with the military regime, including an amnesty for those responsible for the killings during the protests. The rest of the opposition, many of whom remain in exile, have denounced this amnesty as a means of shielding criminals from prosecution. Despite the controversy, Masra's speech received applause from his supporters who expressed hope and reassurance in his words. He also expressed willingness to cooperate with the military leaders and to work towards finding a comprehensive solution for the country's challenges. On October 31st, an agreement in principle was signed between opposition leader Sukse Masra and the Chadian government under the auspices of the Economic Community of Central African States, mediated by Felix Chisekedi, allowing Sukse Masra to return to Chad one year after the events of October 20th last year.